All right, so in this video, let's look at how your eye works. Well, how it should work if you have a normal eye, and if you're like a lot of people, how your eye works if you have a messed up eye, like if you're nearsighted or farsighted, and then how we're going to fix that, okay? So first off, here's my fancy uh, visual for what your eye does. So this is, you know, the really crude version of your eye. So your eye has a cornea on the front, like if you close your eyes and you touch the front of your eye, you can feel that bump. That's the cornea. And it does a little bit of focusing, but it's not adjustable like the lens inside your eye. You have a little lens that's attached to some muscles here and here, and they can squeeze that lens to change the focal point, right? And that lens focuses light onto the back of your eye where the retina is. And the retina is this whole big collection of nerves, right? And it sees the light and it interprets those in signals. And there's all these ends or like a bunch of wires packed up into this thing called the optic nerve. And the optic nerve sends a signal to your brain and that says, look, pretty pictures, right? So this is how a normal eye works. So if you have a normal eye, what happens is I'm going to draw a nice little representation of your eye and let's draw a ray diagram and just pretend there's a lens there. So if you're looking at something, your eye focuses an image back here, right? So if I draw my ray diagram, let's say here's my ray number three and here's my ray number one and you see those two cross right there and it creates this little image of that thing that you were looking at, right? And because it's upside down, that's a real image, right? So these rays need to actually physically cross on the back of your eye in order for your brain to interpret it as an image. But sometimes your eye doesn't do that, okay? And so, by the way, for a normal eye, the range that you can see, right? If here's your eye, normal people can see from a near point of about 25 centimeters out to a far point of infinity. So normal eyes, you can see anything between 25 centimeters and infinity. And the reason you can't see closer than 25 centimeters is because this lens can't squish up enough to change the focal length enough to fit it onto your eye. So you ever noticed you can't focus on something really close for a long time because these muscles have to squeeze down that lens and it makes your eye tired, right? That's why you feel like your eyes are tired. So let's look first at hyperopia. Hyperopia or farsighted people, those are the really weird people, right? That's This is just strange. So your eye is either too flat, right? This is a gross oversimplification of what your eye looks like, but either your eye is going to be too flat or your lens is too weak. But the overall result of this weird case is that the rays focus too far back instead of on your retina, right? So what ends up happening is you can see far things but not near things, right? So remember, for a normal eye, you can see from 25 centimeters to infinity. So this is my near point and this is my far point. For somebody who is hyperopic, they can see far things, right? This is okay, but their near point isn't close enough, right? So we need to fix this gap that you have here that you can't see things, okay? So how do we do that? The way to fix it is we need to make these rays focus further in front, right? So we can make them help focus by adding a converging lens like this. And so if you put a converging lens in front of your eye, now, wow, the rays focus on the back of your eye. So a converging lens has a positive power. And when we're talking about power, we're in another video, we're going to do all the calculations. But power basically tells you how hard it focuses the rays, right? So something that's converging has a positive power because you can make a real image with a converging lens. So what this lens is really doing is it's creating an image at your point, right? This thing can't actually change your eyes near or far point, right? So what this lens needs to do is create an image here. And the way it does that is here's this lens that goes through, right? And here's, let's say, here's this thing that you want to see maybe right here, right? By putting a converging lens here, this thing is going to create a virtual image that shows up back here. And that virtual image that this lens creates is what your eye sees and turns into a real image on the back of your eye. Okay, so now let's look at what I think most people have, which is myopia. Now, I'm not a doctor. You know, I don't claim to be a doctor, but I would assume, based on people that I know, that most people are myopic instead of hyperopic. And myopic is nearsightedness. So in this case, either your eye is too long, like it's stretched out, right? Obviously, maybe not to these proportions, but it's either too long or your lens is too strong, right? Rather have a good strong lens than stupid weak lens. So... Either way, the result is that you can see near things, but you can't see far things. So 
Look at our picture again. Normal eye. Here's your near point, right? 25 centimeters. Here's your far point at infinity. Your eye can't see the far point, and in reality, your near point might be a lot closer. So I'm just going to use me as an example. I remember my near point used to be like 12 centimeters. So this is the range of stuff that you can see, All right? So obviously that's a problem because you have a bigger range of stuff that you can't see far away, right? So how do we fix this? Well, if we need to make this focus further back, we need something to make our lens less strong. And we'll do that with a diverging lens. So if I stick a diverging lens in here through the magic of physics, now, wow, the rays focus on the back of your eye. So we can fix this with a diverging lens, and diverging lenses have negative power, because remember, diverging lenses cannot create real images. So what's happening in this case? Okay, let's say here's this thing that you want to see, right? But you can't see it because you're myopic. So let's put a diverging lens in front of your eye. So that diverging lens, what it's going to do, we need to take this and we need to make an image of it at your far point. So... Remember, diverging lenses, the ray diagrams kind of look like that. And so these two rays may come back and meet if I drew it kind of right. Yeah, I did it. So your diverging lens that you stick in front of your eye doesn't actually change your eye. All it does is it creates this virtual image that's at your far point, right? Wherever your far point is, it creates an image at your far point that your eye will take and focus on the back of your eye. So in another video, we'll look at how to solve vision correction problems using the power of the lens. But in general, if you want to get an idea for how good or poor your eyesight is, you can look at your prescription. And your prescription for your glasses should have a power. And that power is equal to the reciprocal of the focal length of the lens that you have to use. And so the bigger this power is, the more strong the lens is, which means the more messed up your eye is. All right, so stuff to remember from this myopia or nearsightedness your eyes too long your lens is too strong you can see near but you can't see far so we need to fix you with a diverging lens that has negative power if you're hyperopic your eyes too flat your lens is too weak you can see far things but not near things so what do we need to do to fix it we need to put a converging lens with a positive power on it and you can use this to kind of tell since you know now that diverging lenses fix nearsighted converging lenses fix farsightedness you can look at people now and you can impress them by guessing whether or not they're nearsighted or farsighted. So when you look at somebody who's nearsighted, if they have a diverging lens, that should be making their face look smaller. If you look at somebody who's farsighted, when you look at their face with their glasses, the glasses should be making their face look larger. And so now you can look at people and you can tell and just impress them or maybe weird them out by guessing whether they're nearsighted or farsighted.